Hey what's up you guys, my name is Brooke and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a November wrap up and December TBR. I read a grand total of 5 books in November and first off I started November by finishing Asylum by Madeline Rowe. I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. I did like it. Asylum follows Dan Crawford as he goes and goes to this summer camp at a college. It's kind of like college prep. Um, it's a lot of like really difficult courses and stuff and he's really excited and he ends up staying in in the school's regular dorms are being renovated so all the students of this program have to stay at the old dorms which was also an asylum um back in the day and he meets some friends at this place and some crazy stuff starts going down because of the asylum and um it's kind of mysterious and honestly i feel like this is a book that you should kind of go into blind um you shouldn't know too much about it because i feel like it would make it more interesting that way i didn't know a whole lot and i feel like that made it that much more interesting but i will be continuing on with the series i asked for the next book in the series i think it's sanctum for christmas so we'll see the second book i read in the month of november is the titan's curse by rick riordan the third book in the percy jackson series and i loved it i think this is my favorite um so far i really like um Thalia and i just i really enjoyed this book i gave it five out of five stars and I'm really I love this series so far it's just it's brilliant I just love it a lot this book follows Percy as he gets a message from Grover saying that he needs his help and Thalia, Annabeth, and Percy go to his aid and discover that Grover has found two half-bloods um they don't know who their parents are and Kronos has started setting up some things for them and it's pretty crazy um it follows a lot more of the storyline with Luke and um Kronos plan to try and take over Olympus and just a really great addition to the series also in the month of November I read my first audiobook well I listened to my first audiobook the book that I picked was Alice in Wonderland or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. The um, version that I read was narrated by Scarlett Johansson and it was great. I read it over the course of like two days. Well, listen to it. I don't know how do you refer to that as, but I listened to it over the course of two days. Um, it was really quick to get through, but I do drive a lot and it was just so amazing. Of course, I've read Alice in Wonderland before, but um, I really enjoyed it. Um, hearing it through Scarlett Johansson and um, I would totally recommend that version to you. Um, I'll leave the link to um, the Audible down below. The next book that I read in the month of November is Stalking Down the River by Carrie Maniscalco and I loved this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. This book is set in the time of Jack the Ripper and it follows our main character Audrey Rose who is unconventional for her time. She is very interested in science and is studying as an apprentice under her uncle who is a coroner or medical examiner and her uncle gets one of Jack the Ripper's bodies, victim's bodies, in his office laboratory thing and this just causes Audrey Rose to just delve into this case or try to solve it, figure out what's going on with it and I really enjoyed this book um, and it did have some aspects of feminism for me and I made an entire discussion talking about the feminism in this book and it's spoiler free and I'll link it down below if you want to check that out. And the final book that I read in November is The Outliers by Kimberly McCrate and I gave this book 4 to 5 stars. I really did enjoy it. Um, I cannot wait for the next book that comes out in May. I believe but um this book was brilliant i really did enjoy it this is a thriller it follows this girl who has to try and overcome her anxiety to go help her best friend that needs um that needs her help and you don't know much more than that you kind of have to go into this book plan because it doesn't give you any real information i don't want to give you any information because I don't want to spoil anything for you. This book is just really crazy. It has tons of twists and turns um, that you really probably won't see coming. Um, it's like just when you think you've hit the last plot twist, it's like, mm -mm, no, there's another one. But this book was really good. Um, I did have a couple issues with it, so that's why it's docked a star. But 
I'm excited to continue on with this series and I can't wait to see what the next book brings. Also in the month of November I started listening to Fatal Secrets by Richie Tankersley Cusick on Audible and I have not finished that. I actually haven't listened to it in a long time but um I really do plan on finishing that. It's really good so far. Um, I'm only about 10% of the way through but it is good as of now. So on to my December TBR. Sorry if I'm moving a lot. I'm sitting in a spinny chair. I changed locations because in this room I, is where I, I have like my makeup mirror. It's like one of those mirrors that has like lights on it. has like lights on it and um I think that might will give me some better lighting for my videos and I'm kind of liking it so far. Let me know what you think. If you think I should go back to my other recording area, let me know. Um, but I'm liking this so far. So I'm planning on reading five books in the month of December and if I get to more that will be brilliant. You know, we're going to be out of school here soon so I'm really hoping that it's going to give me some extra time to get some reading done. And the books that I'm putting in planning on reading in December or first book that I plan on reading in December is one that I've already started and that is Survive the Night by Daniel Vega and I really honestly I don't know that much about this book I'm going into it like really blind but um I do believe it's a murder mystery um in the subways of New York I think I'm not positive but it's supposed to be kind of like thrilling and mysterious and suspenseful and I'm really I really I mean I'm only I'm like none of the way through it but um it's fairly good so far so we'll see the second book that I'm going to be reading in the month of December is one that I have to read for class but is one that I'm excited to read and that is 1984 by George Orwell and I'm about 10 pages into this book so far and I do like it um I actually I really enjoy George Orwell's writing style as of now and um I'm really glad that we're reading this for class because this is a book that I've kind of wanted to read because I mean it's like one of the modern literary classics and I'm really excited because I mean I've always heard great things about this book and I just I've never you know just taken the time to pick it up and read it and I'm really glad that I'm getting to it now. If you don't know 1984 is set in 1984 and it's a futuristic society with got a lot of government control. I really don't know a whole lot about it, but um, the big line from this book is like Big Brother is watching you. It's where the whole thing with Big Brother being, the government being called Big Brother and everything. And you're like, 1984, that's not futuristic. This was written in 1949. And that's, you know, kind of like Back to the Future when they thought we were gonna have like flying shoes last year but mm, unfortunately not but anyways um i'm really looking forward to reading this book another book that i plan on reading in december is the battle of the labyrinth by rick ruin is the fourth book in the percy jackson series and i'm just i'm loving this cover um i'm definitely really excited to read this i think it's the thickest one in this series so far and i'm loving it so far i think i've given every book in the series so far either four or five out of five stars and i just can't wait to continue continue with it I don't know I'm just really excited and another book that I will plan on reading in December is Rumblefish by Essie Hinton and I have no idea what this book is about what I do know is that this is written by the same author that wrote The Outsiders and that is one of my all-time favorite books so I decided I need to pick up more books by Essie Hinton right so I picked this up a while back and I just haven't gotten to read it and I figured this would be a fairly you know easy book to read it's very short it's 130 pages the print is huge I'm most likely going to like fly through this in no time and I honestly have no idea I'm thinking it might have something to do with pool I don't know but we'll see and the final book that I'm planning on reading December is My Lady Jane by oh, Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows I've heard such great things about this book that I can't wait to try it and see if it meets the hype for me I guess I've kind of been into some historical fiction because I just read Stalking Jack the Ripper so why not go ahead and go even if this is further back in time I really don't know I need to brush up on my timelines but um I'm very excited to read this book and yeah so those are all the books that I plan on reading in December and those are all the books that I read in November let me know some of the books that you're reading down below if you've read any of the books that I plan on reading let me know what you thought about them so that way I can kind of order my reading that's it for this video guys thanks for watching until the next video bye